basically that's like the benefits. That's like the benefits. We because we actually we don't do pay on delivery. We don't do pay on delivery. It's um, pay online or cash on and see Paystack has made like easier for you but so you should you still do cash on delivery. That's pay on delivery. No 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 we don't do cash on delivery. You just mentioned the that's why no, no, oh, okay. you pay online or you do bank transfer. Okay. You get so how and people pay? Yeah definitely. Okay, now because you know, I'm asking this because I'm trying to get back into the game. You know, so I've been doing a lot of on the ground works and everything. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to relate my past experience with what's going on in the industry now. No. You know, so are people now comfortable with paying for things that they have not seen? Yeah. Or what are so, the strategies to use? Now your sales them? skills now, that's where down that now comes up. Okay. You get you know like what did I say? I said my wife she's a super customer custom, like a customer service is top notch. I knew you get, if you can be making sales for Jumia, making sales for all these people, and people are paying uh, 500,000 for flights, uh, 300,000, why can't you collect uh, 10,000, 20,000 from people with your sweet mouth? I beg you this thing. You get. So, and before we knew it, people were even paying more than what we expect. Our average basket is like 70k. Like the average spend per customer. <coughs> 70k. 70K. Wow. Wow. That's good. For an average average spent per customer. You get what I'm saying? So so, sometimes it's not like there are no customers that buy 5k. But when I mean average, like I mean in e commerce, people who are in e commerce, who are called e commerce, they understand what I'm saying. So our average basket is like 70k. So and when you are looking at that and compare with several other things, how many people pay? But you must so be convincing. Yeah. So it's those are just additional. Yeah. We say a sweet man, a salesman now. <laughs> I've been a salesman all my life. I think the way the the, the site is even presented, it looks so so professional. Like, yes. It's like a very big brand. You get what I'm saying. I do all the needful. Put reviews, okay. customer reviews, for, like put it down. For, like, yeah, for other for mm. people like us that we are not going your, your route, where we are pulling brands to put on our stuff, but we want to have our own e commerce website and then we want to bring in our own stuff. So, and what exactly do you want to do? I, when I was in e commerce, I sell a variety of things. Okay. So, on my store on Junior Rhino Fox, I had a lot of items. So, okay. so now that you know, looking at the model you have, I, when I checked, it, I saw Landis, I saw Visco, and these are brands that people know. So when they are searching, they go there. It's easy for them. But now, if I'm bringing in different, like now, I'm trying to bring in something that car owners can use, uh, a car washer. Okay. okay. Now it's uh, there is no particular brand for that stuff, mm-hmm. other than Kacha. Kacha is the popular brand. Now I cannot put Kacha. I'm going to put Kacha on my on my website. Why? Because the amount Kacha sells their stuff, I can I can't sell it. That I want to be a competitor. So so basically, what what you can also do and what uh, e-commerce do and what I mean is the standard practice for retailers. So e-commerce is more like retail. So it's standard practice. So you have some loss making items but they bring strong brand value so that some items will be on the website yeah. you are not making money on them okay. but, they bring, but they bring traffic they drive traffic to the website based on their brand name okay. you get. then you now have the profit making items who really don't command like strong brand names so when people come for this brand, you now show this as an alternative. You get what I'm saying? So, okay, let me give you an idea. So if you go to Amazon and you say you want to buy um, um, the iWatch, right? It's going to suggest, uh, below, it's going to suggest like three other products. Yes. 
get that. Am I correct here? Yes. So what's that? That's cross selling. You are cross selling. This 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 particular one, they might not make money on it. That's why they are pushing these ones to you. You get what I'm saying? So and if you feel oh I don't want this, I can buy this. The same thing happens on Junior. So if you pick um, Samsung One Plus Power, you know it, it will suggest uh, oh, people also buy what Luya, Hisense, Why? You you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it will suggest every other one that you can pick from. Mm. And you know the funny truth when you are negotiating. If I have gone to negotiate for this because this is an unpopular brand. And I get it as like a twenty percent margin for us, and get the Samsung at less than two percent margin. You understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So it means I'm going to make twenty percent on this, mm. but if I sell the Samsung, I'm just going to make two percent, and that two percent might be wiped out with transport costs. Mm. <laughs> the problem of return on that. You get what I'm saying? Mm. So that's. That's already lost. But if I sell this 20%, like it's on point, you get everything. Okay. So basically, you use a non brand. Okay, so for someone like me, that wants to do that, if I put a catcher on my site, is there not going to be a leg? Is it a mono product? Is it just one product you want to sell? Uh, no. It's not you a simple, but I want to do things around cars and electronics. Okay. So the website, uh, I'm a bit battling with the final name that will be able to engulf all that. You get so, but so I'm saying that if I put a catcher stuff on my site and I'm not really selling it, mm. and will catcher not do a legal battle with me? Like, mm. why is our name on your site or something? So you might you might have some premium uh, customers that they actually want to like order for such. You so having to the website should um, enable them to pay. Then for order that may not be able to afford no way to catch up, you can already Does it really matter? Are you going to force can, people to I, buy? I, I, I just take it and I put it on my page. Even if I don't put any link to any area, there is no law that says I cannot put it. I'm not saying that because the, the number one thing is they can let you sell. They're already letting people sell. You know what I mean? They're already letting some other people sell. Okay, you don't let anybody sell. No, they do, but they, they allow brands to, to sell. So you can't see catcher anywhere other than shop, right? That's it. The more pounds mm -hmm. and all those kind of malls. Okay. You know, so you can't see it in one shop under with your left yeah, yeah, yeah. or something like that. Mm -hmm. Somebody can buy it at shop right and sell it. Who did that? Do you understand what I'm saying? That, that's what I'm trying to talk about. So if maybe I now buy that thing, I buy plenty from shop right. Shop right, they will sell me the cheapest price, right? So I can buy so, bulk. So we think. Uh, well, that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. based on that thinking, I can buy bulk. So I just buy the bulk, take everything to my area, and I'm saying everybody, ah, people don't know this thing. Out. It's a special thing, I know most of you don't know it. But look at it, you understand? And I'm selling that. So it doesn't really matter. That was the point of the question. It doesn't really matter. Nobody can come and say, ah, for goodness sake, catch you got your money. Do you understand? We, the sales is happening. So I can now just use that to drive the traffic for another thing that I'm doing. I'm doing there are a lot of people carrying a uh, shop right bread and selling traffic. Yes. Yeah. No, but I think his question is if people actually now order that catcher on his site. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's simple. You will now put the price that you will get it yes. from <laughs> shop right. Yeah. 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 You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You put the price. Yeah. Yeah. You will now add your cost now. Even if it's 10 naira. You will put it. You will add your cost. So if they are ready to pay your price. Yeah. 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 So you see some 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 brands, Hilton brands. You see some Hilton brands from UK there. Those are under thirty five thousand, forty thousand. People don't really buy it here. You get, but it's popular in the north. So because I wanted to attract the northern audience, I brought it to Bond. Hilton on the Sankara stuff. Yeah. You get. 
So I brought it on. So it's it's just so easy. So if you are looking for Hilton, after the Hilton website shows, it's the Ankara that you see next. Mm -hmm. And because it's a local website, you want to have this one, it's still a local thing. I'm going to buy from London, if it doesn't come, you get. And you get people to order? Yeah. So you now buy from those people and then ship? Simple or they do drop direct. shipping? No, not drop shipping. Not drop shipping. Okay. Come on, don't drop ship. <laughs> It doesn't work. It won't no, work. it's not like yeah. it doesn't work. Like for your own brand, okay. you don't trust that guy. Okay, okay. It's getting branded. Yeah, it's getting Can I ask my own question? Okay, let me, let me pause it. I've been running through my mind how to do the e com for real estate. Real estate? Yeah. So, real estate, e commerce is crowded, it's not crowded. Mm -hmm. So what people are doing is going on social media, this, 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 this is what I'm telling you. Yeah. But it's still one of the most dynamic places like when it comes to online, whatever, because they are getting on top of their game like every day. Those guys are really getting on top of their game. So and if you study them, you can do more video content marketing for that. Like, those ones will sell like fire. You get if you do more of video content. So each one has its own niche. Look at where that niche is. There's something that will be popular with it. You get you're able to identify that, pinpoint the location where from people and do video content. Okay. So your website has to be fully optimized for videos. Then you must have like very strong YouTube page to drive traffic to you. You yeah. say something about location and Google. No, like um, how do I call it? Google, you, you know, Google Map, like the longitude and latitude of mm -hmm. where you want to sell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Bridge. Is it grid? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bridge is great location. Okay. Yeah. So you must. If those things are strong and you are strong on videos, <coughs> use videos to drive traffic to website. your website. Okay. Can you run on a blog? Yeah, definitely. Because, but the thing is, if you look at where the property is right now, yeah. most properties are sold around Lekki. Yeah. So, content around Lekki is crazy popular online. Okay. So when you search, uh, it's lucky that will first pop up. Okay. So if you want to sell, let's say, barely cut estate, yeah. lucky, like, yeah. you don't yeah. see a whole yeah. lot of flooded <laughs> stuff. stuff. But that's where specialization has to come in. Okay. Because some are doing it for marketing sake. They are not being dynamic about it. Okay. So what you can do is Research. Okay. Currently, like 60% of property investors are where? People buying properties. Where are they coming from? 60% are coming from overseas. So, most people who are creating all these um, estates yeah. stuff, they get more foreign buyers. Okay. Who don't really trust their family to buy stuff? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So your content should be what crafted For to catch them because that's where the sixty percent of the market is. You get. So you also need to find out about their lifestyle and how. How I mean, how such goes to them, like what. You know, they are the ones that would like cozy environments, like yeah. um, properly laid out. Yeah. So all those descriptions must be clearly spelled out. Like, the land description, the facility description. Mm -hmm. It's not that you just go on video and you... How would I do now, I'm on the expressway. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you get, I see I'll the see sign the board. <laughs> those are nonsense marketing. Right. Marketing, market from an intelligent discussion. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yes. Market with data. Mm. It takes 15 minutes. You get what I'm saying? With data. 15 minutes 
from so so to so so so. That's and don't lie. Yeah. If there are tra- if there is traffic, you are going to spend so so minutes. Okay. If there is no traffic, you are going to spend so so minutes. Yeah. You get. These are adjoining neighbors, neighborhoods. You get. What what facilities does the adjoining neighborhood have? Okay. What's their income bracket? Okay. You get. These are what Americans like. Medical facilities. You get what medical facilities are close to the place. You get so you, you, you state these things categorically. Twenty years down the line, what value is this place going to bring? At what annual rate? Uh, what's the annual the investment growth rate? In fact, investment growth rate. Don't be vague about it. You get it's not like oh somebody bought land one million <laughs> and so 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 yes. and he's selling it for ten million now. No, that's big. What's the annual growth rate? Mm. Then the person sees you as this guy is a professional. You get this guy knows what he's selling. He's not just selling. He knows it perfectly. So one morning I wanted to buy mattresses. I had the money that I wanted to buy the mattress, but I was like, should I buy now? Should I now? So I found the whole branch the one. There was this mocha for one like so a branch. Ah, how much be this one? People that sell. This one, forty thousand, this one, thirty thousand. Ah, this one cost ten and that's five thousand. Okay, can you take this one thirty two thousand? No, I can't. Okay. I now drove like three minutes away. I saw another guy. I stopped over. And the guy broke everything down to me. See, this is a spring bed. This spring bed, um, this one has fiber. For um, a, a, a teenager who is 70 kg, wow. this is what is recommended. Wow. You get? Wow. For mattress. For marriage. For marriage. Sure. For marriage. Follow you. Yeah, you. you know, <laughs> um, <laughs> most people are this like. 80 kg. Yes. So 160 kg. Yeah. So this is not good for married people. This is good for married people. This one is not good for old people. This is ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so forty thousand. I paid him. So I bought. Of course. Wow. So how, how many people understand their product yeah, to like this that. level? Yeah. You get what I'm saying. I see the detail that a mattress yeah. seller. <laughs> Mm. Is a mattress seller now? Yes. Right? Yes. Boy, See the level of detail that the guy had, and how and he was able them. to communicate okay. that, and got rather than the guy buy, it was pricing thirty two thousand somewhere. Else. And if he's got eighty thousand now, you get content. Oh, yeah. it's, it's yeah. Yeah. I mean, you get. You already told me what the difference was. Yeah. So it's not just selling mattress. He knows <laughs> what each one stands getting, for. Getting you get. And so and I chose the one I, I bought based on his recommendation. His recommendation. Right. And that, that is it. Did he first ask you questions before he began, or was just? Uh, no. So well, I was pointing. Point, you know. You know. They would line the mattresses now. Mm-hmm. You get. So I was looking yeah, at the size. At the size. <laughs> and oh, this one. Ah, mocha foam. I hear say mocha foam is good, but I don't like the cloth on the body. And I said, eh, it's good, but this is this one has fiber, this one is spring bed, this oh. one is this. Wow. Oh, what's the difference between spring bed and this one with fiber? Um, he said, this one, um, you can use it for five years, but you wait, your weight has to, you see that some mattresses that they came in too fast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So probably that person's weight, the one that you get, uh, this one called. By the time they explain, they were like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Forever. Very knowledgeable, and, and that's very key Forever. in marketing. Many times when you see people yeah. talking, you won't if the, if, you, if you ask what was the person, I don't know, I don't know. Buy if you want buy. Yeah, no, when you, you, you see that, you walk away. You get. You understand what I'm saying? And it's the same thing that happens online. When people yeah. come to your page and they are seeing that it's scanty, it doesn't sound as if you are knowledgeable. Yeah. You yeah. Just walk yeah. away. Yeah, it's an evil guy. The other guy too was an evil guy. The, the other one was not a good 
And then you go to a car spare part shop. The first thing they ask you is it a four plug or a six plug engine? Yeah. And the reason for that is let them know, okay, a big boy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think that's for you to drive a six a six plug car, mm -hmm. you have money than driving a four plug car. Meanwhile, what they want to sell to you is the same price for a four plug. And it's mm -hmm. the know how they will bill you yeah. exactly for, for them to know. So that's why I ask if you ask them questions you first. Know? Before he began to do that, it takes someone like actually. I don't know about you. Even me, I learned from what you just said. Exactly. It's not like, these are not authentic. What's the difference between orthopedic and this? You get why you are using both of I've, I've, I've asked all those questions before, and yeah. many times when they respond, they hate the response. response. Mm -hmm. As in, I would just be angry and I would go. Yes, I don't know what, what was inside. I don't know. Can't you just explain? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Just explain. Yes, yes. You get, now you want to sell that same mattress. If you go online, probably, I don't know if Muka phone will be your time with that kind of as well as distribution okay. online. So fine, they organize trainings for them, mm. like for, for the distributors, where they tell them mm. all the yes. stuff. Yeah. You get. But I, I don't know. Though I've not sold um, mattresses or pillowcases, or, but these are the things you should watch out for. Yes. You get it. So, so, even though, so even though it is scam or not, the fact that he is knowledgeable about what he said yeah. he is more knowledgeable yeah. than you. It yeah. relates no, to buy When you hear that knowledge, you can't think he's scam. Yes. 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 That level of knowledge that automatically nullifies the scam. As in, your trust level will go high. That one of the reasons why we trust healthcare practitioners. That one of the reasons why you trust. Doctor, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. lawyers. Oh, yeah. It's why you trust your pastor. He'll be telling you what you want to see. Why do I sell? Why do I sell more? Not sell anything. The reason why I sell more to the US is I only have rates for nine posts. I have the plugin for EMS on the website. Okay. Where you can calculate your rates. Okay. I have DHL rates. You get. I have DHL rates. But it's not a plugin. You get so as you're asking me, I'm giving you this rate. I'm giving you this rate. Hmm. So it's something you are looking at, not even from me, that is this mm -hmm. these are their rates. Yeah. So look at their rates. And I'm also giving you if I'm going to use an agent. Yeah. This is the rate an agent is going to charge. Hmm. So pick from Option. all these options. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll give you the reason why. See, if you drop it to your US nearest US airport. This is the potential amount you're going to use to clear it. When you add it to what DHL wants to charge you, you need to reason and see whether it's going to pay you or not. So you actually get a list for nine posts See, go all out. <laughs> Nikos, yeah. Check EMS, EMS calculator. You they see don't give now. you the list. That's it. It's online. It's online. It's online. Do your research. See, it's part of what we're saying. Research all these things well. You get. So when you are selling, you you should also research what could be like the blocking points for buying. Okay. You get. Logistics is one of the major challenges why people don't buy. Yes. And shipping fee. You get. So on Jimmy, I will do an analysis. If you want to buy a product and the shipping fee is going to more than 25% of the value of the product, there is a likelihood that the, the rate at which you sell that product is going to be minimal. So averagely, shipping cost shouldn't be more than 10% of the value of the product. You get. So and if you don't add all these factors and you just say, eh, my wife will just say, eh, put the eh, Give them the DHL shipping rates. Are you alright? Like, <laughs> would they buy? They won't buy. You get what I'm saying? This is, see, the person is also a business person. He's also doing his own analysis. Yeah. You get. So, cost factor is, is asked to be in place. And it matters to him. It matters to him. You get. 
Because I'm already calculating his own landing cost for him before he even lives here. Because if I don't calculate the landing cost, and I just want to do it, and you, I just want to sell to the person. How much is the person going to sell? You get. And if, you, if it's too high for you, if it's too high, you will come back. You will come back. You will come back. You will come back. You will come You would have lost that customer. That customer. So, that customers must, you must be able to recycle your customer like, very well. You get. I've had customers that have been trading with us from reception at Ghana. She started with 10 pieces. Now she's doing like 200 every, every month. From 10. But go and check EMS or Nipos shipping rates from Nigeria to Ghana. It's almost at 1,000 naira package. Yes. Package? Yes. Okay. Mm. It's not more. Yeah. That's how you. That's ridiculous. If not more. Right. But I would use my own local level yeah. and make it land at 400 naira package. Mm. Wow. And you now see that customer will not come back. Is it possible that maybe you have a product or services you offer? Okay, but you want to optimize the product of that. Must you have an income site? How are the other ways you can go around it? So, so basically, people are using several things to sell. So you can use Facebook to sell, you can use Instagram to sell, you can use um, your website. Okay. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. So we are also like big on Pinterest because we are looking for like international yeah. guys. Yeah. You get. So Instagram is also like a big seller, but what do people buy the most on Instagram? Mm -hmm. Fashion. 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 You get so if you go outside that on Instagram when you want to sell your real estate on Instagram, oh guy, if you know sell this street well. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So each one has like a platform because there are audiences for all of these platforms. Yeah. You get so those are the things you, you watch out for. See where you can sell the most. I mean, you need to do some serious research. Mm -hmm. Sit down, look at the platforms. Mm -hmm. What's going on? What is not easy? What is not easy? But once you do it well, then, 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 then you know another trick. A lot of videos online. A lot of videos online. Teaching you business, teaching you this format, teaching you digital marketing. A lot of videos online. Keep watching. Them. But I think your background and your experience as you see is very important. Yes, I mean, see, see, in life, there's something that would push it, the ignition. You get. After that, you're on your own. So you are the one that would know how to manage the flight. <laughs> but the major, I mean, that was just like the first one. You get so if I say oh based on my experience let me be using there are a lot of learnings I learned along the line they were completely off what I learned at Jumia. You get what I'm saying? That was complete like it didn't work. It didn't work. You get when we started they said Facebook was going to be our biggest selling this thing. <laughs> See, if you see the shop I opened on Facebook, <laughs> there was a plugin I, even till now is there, there was a plugin I had on Facebook that it calls the old website and like mirrors it on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You get the old website, so as we upload, it mirrors it on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You get it, still did not sell. The content is also mirrored there. You get. I said, okay, let me put money for adverts. Put money for adverts. If you see traffic, people were coming, but the bounce rate was too high. They were coming, but they were not value. 
we were not valuable customers. You get it. You understand what I mean? They were not converting to sales. No conversion. Yeah, no conversion. So they were not the kind of they didn't have the, most people on Facebook are customers that don't have that kind of buying power. That's how I would put it. So how what is the best traffic source? <laughs> the best like, depending on the products. Because they're not be across all categories. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It depends on the product so we are selling. Do you feel traffic? Is yeah, traffic is yeah, there is trend. I'm not saying you you didn't get what I said. Buying. I said there was a lot of traffic. No oh, buying was. The yes. But it was not converting to sales. So, you get. I had the most visits over those period. On the website, people were checking, 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 but it wasn't converting to like real time sales. So, and if you, if you go through your marketing analysis and you now look at your marketing spend versus the conversion, like it didn't really make sense. So, but there are other products that may do well on the same platform, you get, but not like a proxy. The property will not do well on Facebook because men you know they face yeah. they are the most they are the most uh, or they are the biggest property investors in, in property. property. And just a big one. Okay, I'm I am i am just balancing a whole lot of stuff. Yeah. YouTube the video works very fine, especially for properties. Okay, so I'm trying to also relate the point you made about hiding your content and all of that. So Okay. That's when it comes to your sites now. So on YouTube, you could just um, outlay your videos without much content. Really. Lucky. No, you won't do that. On, you won't do that on YouTube. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So YouTube, YouTube is going to be more of tags, tags, tags. Can we exchange for a cold yeah. one? What up, please? <coughs> that the question? Sorry, please. Yeah. Okay, what if uh, you are rendering services? Like what services? Like the video in the dog. So, that's your water. 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 Oh, okay then. No, I didn't. It's still what do you suggest? So, 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 like, okay. okay. The SEO with more of tags, you see. Okay. So for, for YouTube, yes, sir. you do more of that in it. So when you upload your video, yes. you have it. Okay. With, um, so for example, let's say, here's the prompt. Like you said, Lekki, right? Yeah. You tag Lekki. What's the next hot next, next name around Lekki? Decreased, 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 so you tag decreased, so what's another hot word there? So you keep tagging, tagging, you get that problem. Yeah. We differentiate because I guess a whole lot of persons know this basic tag. Yes. So what was the whole lot of persons? I mean, I totally disagree. What they do is Instagram and advert. That's what they do. Many people don't know SEO. Go and go YouTube. They don't know SEO. They don't know content marketing. If you say advert, they can be doing all this one. But SEO money marketing, very poor. Once you look at the people, people you will know now. now. You see, they just posted the video without the yeah. ad. Yeah. Go and check. Yeah. I've watched a lot. They don't. Most people don't know all those things. You guess. And your video, like I said, yeah. must yeah. be professional. You, you can do it with your phone, like it's doing yeah. the recording with the phone. Yeah. But yeah. it must be data driven. Mm -hmm. And you must speak from mm -hmm. like a very professional angle, like very knowledgeable. Like that guy that sold my glass. You get yes. what I'm saying? Oh, right. You must show understanding of your product. If possible, you can describe it with thorough mm -hmm. texture. Mm -hmm. How much you can describe how much you're going to spend in so, doing so, a so, foundation. So, you get you can do like a proper so, estimate. So, Plus or minus ten percent. This should be the amount you spend on erecting a foundation here. You get what I'm saying? So all those all those details are what people are looking out for. Because you say if I want to buy land, if I want to buy land, what's going to run on my mind is if I'm offered land in Norway and if I'm offered land in Lekki. So what's going to be the cost difference? If I'm paying more for electricity, I'm going to spend more for foundation. Yeah. 
and my building costs is going to be way, way higher. Yeah. So why am I not buying the movie? Like, so you need to explain the value. Yeah, and also the rental, potential rental. The potential yeah, you get, potential yeah. rent. So you do all this basic analysis. If you are a real estate, I'm not a real estate yeah, person. Like, yeah. I know in real estate, there is a way they calculate all these values. Yeah. And now you yeah, can nice. like um, value the property over time. You get, you can just do like a small simulation yeah. of, of um, so oh, there's yes. three years, yeah, five years, there's yes. this mortgage or amortization calculator, like yeah. you can use it and do like a fair calculation of yeah. how this thing is going to be and describe it to people. Yeah, See, to... you will sell like fire. And that gives you an edge over, the, over the other. People are not, don't feel people are not knowledgeable. People Those that people use the Odulade to do advertising. At some time, all those things will win the way. So it will now, because as, as the market gets more competitive, then what gives you edge over others is your knowledge. You get. It's your knowledge. Now, you know why all of them are still progressing without problem now is because that kind of sector is just new in the system so it's still growing so there is room for accommodation for for a lot of people like nigeria is still fairly new you know naturally what nigerians do before is buy from a money led ethnic but now organized yeah. estates is yeah. so it's still you get they are taking over but so it's still growing so they've not got into like a saturation point so when they get to the saturation point, so it's the knowledge that is going to distinguish this person from the other person. So that's, does that answer your question? Thank you, sir. Okay. You don't answer this question. Okay. okay. I was asking about uh, what are some of the services? So, okay, as a video editor. Okay. So as a video editor, the same game. The game is display your product. Mm -hmm. I mean, display what is wrong. Yeah. So you see a video going around recently about some guys in Kaduna yeah, who yeah, just use their phone to record yeah, and do like some basic editing. Mm -hmm. Perfect content. That's what the dogs does. Perfect content. They use their phone and they go to edit and display their product or they display mm -hmm. what they've done. And you tag more people. So in this case, what they've done in their own case, because there are a lot of video editors, I'm not going to lie to you. There are a lot of video editors. But how do you how do you outshine the other is in your skill? So not in, in your own case, not not really content marketing that is going to do the magic for you. It's your skill level. You get. So all you just do is after you've done a lot of skillful stuff, bring it online. Tag sure your way to be able to tap it. So can I go can I just see? Let me just share an experience. Um I'm very good with images. If you notice I pick a lot of images from a variety of places oh, to step. Now, Ma? I say who will see. <laughs> <laughs> now there was an image I picked you one day, right? I, I posted maybe like eight of them. One guy sent me a message. He's a videographer. He now converted like two or three into videos. Mm. Okay. Do you understand what I'm going on? Mm -hmm. There was an image of water flowing somewhere. It was really yeah. fine and nice. I, I liked it. I was like, wow. And I just posted that and said, okay, six different images. This, that, that. The guy now said, I would do this thing for you. So he converted that image, the water was now flowing. Mm. And he tagged me. What did I do? I shared it. Mm. What happened to him? Exposure. Mm. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Now, I did that because I loved what he did. It was quality work, it was nice, it was interesting to see, you know, the, the water that was just in an image was now flowing. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Just you. to add to what he was saying, the quality of work. I get you. Right. Yeah, yeah. I think I think another another hands on approach. Yeah. Mm. Thank God you mentioned what you mentioned because when I saw the invite, for one reason or the other, I had already thought that come this 
event did not have a flyer. So I was going to design a flyer and send it to me so okay. you use. But because of time, I could not do it. So if I was a videographer or into video editing, I would come with either my phone or a camera I use. And maybe this event yes. like this, take some clips of it and do 30 seconds or one minute video and share to Victor. At the end of this program, he might, it's one minute now, yes, he might give that one a stick bit and tell them to continue for the full, because I know he will not give it out for free. So, he <laughs> will give it out for free. So, do that one minute or 60 seconds and then your IG name or Facebook name is put at the end. And each and every one of us here, if we see it, we we'll still want to share because my face, my face appeared there, so I want people to know I was with Victor, and mm -hmm. so it just spread like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I, have a I know uh, video sounds video on any sort of stuff better than just pictures and everything. Uh, what do you advise? Because recently, you know, I told you I'm getting back trying to get back today, so I did a video of one of the products that I want to sell, mm -hmm. and I did a test ad on Facebook for it. I don't have the product on ground, but I just want to test what the market is say with that. Yeah, so I did a video on that. So I noticed that Facebook was telling me that uh, they would share more of a video that is three minutes longer, that is longer than three minutes, you know? And I'm wondering, what is the best time how many minute video do you think is good to do advert for any product? Because all the products I'm going to do, if I decide to explain just like this, you'll be like 10, 15 minutes. And yeah. that is me even being fast. People's attention span. Exactly. Yeah, it's it's short. Short. So why is Facebook saying 15 seconds? Go. No, no, I can show you. Let me. Let me. People enjoy 15 seconds video because I ran an me, ad recently. Let me, let me explain both scenarios. Both scenarios are let me explain both scenarios. Now, 15 seconds video because 15 seconds will appear across all the platforms. If you do, if you do more than that, it will not appear on your stories or six of this because that one is 15 seconds. So 15 seconds video so that it will appear across all platforms. That's why they say 15 seconds. Now, they are also trying to compete with YouTube for content. That's why they probably would have asked you to, to do more. A longer video. Yeah. Do you because understand? Because they want just the same way YouTube is a is a warehouse of videos. Mm -hmm. They also want to have that. So they are competing. So encouraging lots of creatives to create more videos that are long there so I can keep people more on Facebook. Do you know people, Facebook has already started having search optimization? Yeah. Okay. Yep. You, you, you yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, trying to answer the question about things that come across all platforms. I felt IGTV takes more than more than that. The normal yes, that, is more yes, than yes, TV yeah. now. Yeah. If you put a video that is one minute, it will not appear on your status. When you say my status? Stories, Instagram stories. Mm -hmm. You know there are adverts on Instagram stories? Yeah, yeah. Good. Now, adverts on Instagram stories must be 15 seconds because Instagram stories is 15 seconds. Okay. Mm -hmm. So any video that you are making that is longer than 15 seconds, no, you have not. Facebook, if you run a Facebook ad, a proper Facebook ad, it can appear on about 19 different locations. The minute you use a video that is longer than 15 seconds, you have knocked out like two or three points. So rather than 19, you have like 16.